Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I'm going to guide you how you can easily use goals in Asana. Goals are a really perfect way how you can track your progress and how you can see how well you're actually doing. So the first thing you want to do is you simply click on the portfolios on the goals. Here you want to click add a goal and now enter a goal name, let's say YouTube goal that I have a YouTube uh, channel project so I can have it as a YouTube goal. Then I have the owner, which is me. Time period is going to be quick free. And here or Q4. So you have an option to choose which one you want. Then privacy, public or it's going to be private. You can add members and then how will you measure progress towards success? So we have options to have it automatic or manual, but let's say you want to have it automatic. Progress source, we have options to have as a sub goals or projects. Now, if you're going to have the projects here or sub goal, you can have percentage numeric total currency or, but let's say I'm going to have a project as a progress source measurement let's say it's going to be task completed so in the moment when i'm going to have marked that it's completed a task i will see automatically that the goal is progressing so let's click save a goal now i'm going to, for my youtube channel and let's say i'm going to remove these and let's say give me a second i'm going to move them Okay, now when we're in a goal, when I click on a goal, I can connect a project. So, what's the status on track at risk of track? You can close the goal and then you connect a project. I'm going to connect YouTube channel. We directly see that we have 0% out of 100%. So what I can do, I can simply click on YouTube channel and here I can click on a YouTube yoga video and I'm going to mark it as a complete. I have a rule that in the moment when it's going to be done, I'm going to automatically move it right here. So I'm going to move also this one. And now I'm going to click on a goal. Here in a goal, I can have and see that I got no status. Let's say it's going to be on track, but I got to fulfill already 67% out of 100%. But now, if I'm going to add even multiple tasks, so let's say a YouTube, um, let's say email marketing video and YouTube guide video, how to better sell. I look again on the goal and I see the decrease here to 40% from those 60 something. Of course, guys, uh, you can also add a sub goals to your main goal and add a description and sub goal. So let's say YouTube and you can simply create a sub goal, which would again track something. You're going to find also the references here that you can link relevant projects or portfolios. So that's something you can do and that's something you can use. So that's pretty much it. Now, if you can have any questions regards uh, the Asana or what you can do here and how you can use the goals, let me down below in the comments. You can always edit progress settings and change it if it's going to be uh, on projects or sub goals, if it's going to be milestones completed, then you have option also to remind me to update status monthly, weekly, quarterly. Then you have options. I have a YouTube goal, the name, uh, what's the status on track. And now you can always change the status update. And then summary, what we accomplished, what's blocked, next step. This is really great if you're going to work with multiple people and you can add the multiple sections here that you're describing how it's actually doing. 
And now when I click on goals, I see the status update. And then you are going to find always the future statuses updates here. So that's pretty much it. I hope you're going to have a great day. Uh, this was a tutorial from me for you and what you can do here. So thank you very much guys and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.